Hello scrappers, welcome back to my channel. Well, I haven't done that many uh, scrap out teardown videos lately, but we're going to do one today. And up here on the autopsy table, ready to get its innards torn out, is a Cisco ASA 5510 series adaptive security appliance rack mount piece of equipment. This is something I got on my recent scrap pickup. I'll put a link in the upper right corner if you want to check out that scrap pickup video. Now, as per usual, I have researched this thing to see what they are reselling for. And in good working order, not very much. And I really don't know if this thing works or not. I don't have a good way to test it. So I'd have to sell it, you know, as is, for repair or parts only. It's like I'm not going to get anything for it. It's not worth the effort. So I'm just going to scrap it out and get rid of it. Make some space in the workshop for the next, uh, the next scrap pickup. So uh, we'll see, we'll get the good stuff out of it, and the ferrous metal will just go on the trailer with the rest of the ferrous metal. It's going to go to the scrapyard soon. But uh, let's take a look around this thing um, before we start tearing into it and see what we got. Well, the front on it's kind of plain. Not a lot of blinking lights, just a few down there. Uh, no switches, no nothing on the front. Uh, both sides kind of plain. Nothing much to them. Let's go take a look at the back. Yeah, we got some um, Ethernet jacks on the back and some USB jacks. So, um, and what is that? Is that? That's another USB. I was thinking it might be optical. Looks like we got a flash card socket. No flash card in it. So, okay, we got an accessory port over here that looks like it is not populated. Let me take these screws off and see. I'll bet there's nothing behind here. This is probably for some accessory that is not installed. Yeah, nothing there. Just scrap metal. Well, it's quite gloomy today. It's going to rain later. Um, I've got all my filming lights on. Hopefully it's bright enough out here that you can see what I'm doing. There are a lot of screws in this thing, and I'm kind of assuming I'm going to have to take them all out. I don't know if I actually do or not, but I'm just going to start taking screws out. Because it looks like this cover is one piece that wraps around, and there are an awful lot of screws going through it. I'm just assuming they all have to come out before the cover will come off. And hopefully it's worth the effort of taking them all out. Cisco equipment, sometimes it's great, and sometimes it's ho-hum once you get into them. It's like, oh, that was hardly worth the effort. But sometimes you get a piece that's just loaded with good stuff, lots of gold-plated connectors and gold corner VGAs and whatnot. And every once in a while you get... A piece that's really got very little of anything of value in it. So that's just the way Cisco stuff goes. Don't think I've ever been inside one of these before, so I don't quite know what to expect. Could be epic, could be a bust. But hopefully, we'll get a little more out of this than just its scrap metal value. Yes. Well, there is some good stuff here. Okay. Yeah, this accessory bay is quite huge. Something big could have plugged into there. But, uh, let's see what we got here. Now, power supply, obviously. We got RAM stick here. I'll just liberate that right away. Uh, 256 megabytes. Not very big, but you know, we got some gold fingers, we got some RAM chips on there. The RAM chips could probably have more gold in them than the gold fingers, so that's that's a good start. But this motherboard has got one, two, three, four, five, six gold corner BGAs on it, so excellent. I love gold corner BGAs, they're my favorite thing in the world because they have a lot of gold in them, and it's pretty easy to recover. I've got videos on that. I'll put a link in the upper right to one. Okay. 
Uh, hey, there's a CF card here. Compact flash card. Mm, 256 megabytes. You know what? I can use that in my retro computing. I'm thinking about building a CF interface for one of my computers. Excellent. I will just hold on to that. That's a keeper. I'm not going to scrap that out. I can reuse that. Okay. So there's something big under this big aluminum heat sink. I suspect I know what it is or what they are. There could be multiple chips under there. It's such a big heat sink. Let me see if I can get the heat sink off. I'll tell you my prediction. The amazing Karnak predicts um, white ceramic custom Cisco chips. We'll see how accurate that prediction is. No! Oh, look at that. That looks like a Pentium processor. Let me see if I can get it off the heat sink. Yeah. Well, what do you know? The amazing Karnak was wrong. What is this? Just now I got heat sink grease all over my fingers. Actually, it's a Celeron. 1.6 gigahertz. Okay. But it's the older type with uh, the legs, the gold plated legs. So that's nice. So getting a little more gold out of it. Uh, got a lot of um, tantalum capacitors here. That's nice. Okay. All right. And of course, we got the big chunky extruded aluminum heatsink. This is a beast. That's going in my extruded heatsink pile. About ready to make another run to the scrapyard with those. Okay. So let's see if I get this motherboard out of here. Because it's really the only thing I want out of here. Everything else, well, not really worth the effort to go after. I'll take this other aluminum heatsink off the motherboard first just to get it out of the way. Yeah. And there's a flip chip underneath it. Um, these are basically worthless. But, you know, we got these nice gold corner BGAs, so I'm not complaining. And we got a little more aluminum in this. Okay. So what's it going to take to get this motherboard off? What kind of screws did they use? Yeah, it looks like just regular Phillips screws. Okay. A lot of stuff I've taken apart lately has had oddball screws. Of course, that bit's not going to work. Let me find a bit that may work. Is this one going to work? Yeah, that one I think is going to work. Ah, there we go. I'm going to find my my screw bucket to put all these screws in I'm taking out. Let's see, there's one. Yeah, that's a long one. There's probably a screw back here behind all these power wires. Let's see if I can get the connector off. Yes, there is one. And I'm probably missing at least one screw, because I always do. I don't see anything back there. No. No, oh, I got them all. Hey, I'm getting better. I usually miss one or two. Disconnect a few more of these cables here. Let me see if I can slide the motherboard out. There we go. There's the motherboard out. Okay, so yeah, it's got the CF socket up here. And it's got another memory card socket down here. So those are going to have a lot of a lot of really good uh, gold fingers in them or gold pins so that's good although you know what if I can you know I talked about saving the CF card for my retro computing projects well it might be smart if I save the socket that it plugs into too wouldn't it yeah let me 
me see if I can get that socket off of there. Uh, a few more screws holding it together. Because I will need a socket, you know. It's kind of an odd assembly. Don't know. I might be better off buying one of the ones um, that are available that are easier to solder to than this because this has got some really fine pitch pins on it. Well, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But hey, we got the motherboard. This is where all the value is. A gold, corner, uh, gold band oscillator on here too. Is that the only one? Sometimes there's more than one. I only see one. We got the black and we got the yellow tantalum capacitors. Got uh, lots of chips beside the gold corner BGAs. Although some of these I think are magnetics. That's a halo. That's definitely magnetic. That's not a ch an IC chip. And I'll bet this thing beside it's a magnetic too. But still, there's some chips here. Not much on the other side. A couple of chips, a few chips, little ones, and a lot of MLCCs. Hopefully they'll be the good kind of MLCCs, the non-magnetics. We'll see. I don't know how old this unit is. Might not be old enough to have non-magnetic ones in it. But, you never know. Uh, let me take the battery out, because you know I depopulate my boards in a kiln. And batteries tend to explode. You get them hot in the kiln. But all this stuff surface mount. Put this in the kiln. Bring the temperature up above the melting point of solder. And all these components just fall right off into the catch basin at the bottom. Easy to recover and sort out. I love my kilns. Okay, so there's that. Let me set the motherboard aside. Uh, the rest of this just looks like stuff that's, you know... Eh. Some LEDs in the front panel I could pull out, but I don't know if it's worth the effort. I have an entire video on processing LEDs for gold and silver. They have a surprising amount of silver, but you got to have a lot of them. Not that much gold. Again, you got to have a lot of them. I mean, I process pounds of them to get, you know, a little bit of gold and silver. So, really, I don't do too much trouble to go after them these days. Okay. So, I guess that's about it. Put those in. Um, let's see. Put this inside just to keep it there. I guess everything else I'm keeping. I'll put the cover back on with a couple of screws and throw this on my uh, scrap steel pile. So it can go to the, uh, the scrap yard. And I gather up all these screws and throw them in my screw bucket. That'll go to the scrap yard too with the scrap steel. Not that they're going to amount to much, but uh, just to keep from being ankle deep in them after a while, you know? Because uh, that does tend to happen when I'm scrapping stuff out. So what did we get out of this doohickey? We got uh, this motherboard with some nice, nice parts on it I'm going to pull off. We got memory stick. We got Celeron processor with the gold-plated legs. Got CF card. Uh, CF card socket. We got a couple of extruded aluminum um, heat sinks. I need to pull the uh, the spring steel bar out of that one. And uh, well, that's about it. But hey, that's not too bad considering a it's a small unit and b it was free. So um, yeah, we'll get some value out of it. I'm looking forward to processing these gold corner BGAs and getting the gold out of them and the uh, RAM chips on this uh, RAM stick. Okay. So that was a quick and easy teardown. Easy in, easy out. Got the gold to go. Okay, I hope you found this scrap out teardown video a little bit interesting. I know it was a kind of a short one, but we'll be doing another one shortly. Um, so that might go into a little more depth. But anyway, if you found this video at all interesting, educational, inspirational, killed some time, whatever, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and subscribe to see my future videos. Um, check out uh, my second channel too, Electric Geek 64. Lots of interesting stuff going on over there, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.